Hi there, everybody. So you're nearing the end of Ecclesiastes. Today in your group, you're going to be studying Ecclesiastes chapter 9, where the teacher takes an uncomfortable look at the subject of death. Now, here was the big idea from Sunday's sermon, that to look death in the face and live life with joy, we must know the one who frees us from fear. Once again, to look death in the face and live life with joy, we must know the one who frees us from fear. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, as you're going to see, is so strange. The teacher puts two things back to back that don't seem to go back to back at all. In the first part, he looks at the subject of death with brutal honesty, and he calls it an evil under the sun. And then beginning in verse 7, he now starts talking about how we ought to enjoy life. It's a very, very strange transition. But it points to the way that the Bible helps us to view death rightly. Now, we looked at two ways that we shouldn't view death, and they're kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. In the one respect, you have the view of like the ancient Stoic philosophers or something that appears up in like Buddhism, where because death is an unavoidable reality, it's inevitable, you must emotionally detach from life, from relationships, from overly investing yourself in this world in order to have joy in life. That's the one thing we ought not to do when it comes to the subject of death. The opposite and kind of the more modern way to deal with it is to normalize death. To say that because it is an inevitable part of life, we it's nothing to be feared. The Bible doesn't push either of these views. Rather, it says that we need to be freed from the fear of of death. And the author of Hebrews points very clearly to the only one who can free us from the fear of death, which is Jesus Christ. In fact, the author says that Jesus came and faced death on the cross and rose again in order that we might be freed from the fear of death. It's a profound teaching and it has all kinds of implications, one being that we are now able to face life with joy when we believe in the one who frees us from the fear of death. I think it's going to make for a fascinating conversation, maybe a little bit uncomfortable at times, but so important and something that the teacher of Ecclesiastes is very clearly pointing to so that we can live wisely under the sun. Have a great discussion.